K-nearest neighbor algorithm is a computer algorithm for classification. It's normally referred to as KNN for short. Classification is determining what group something belongs in. This could be what species uh, an insect is in or the type of a tumor or any type of data that can be collected that needs to be put into a specific group. In order for KNN to work, you need some examples that are in the correct group. This is used for the prediction of what groups that future data is in. We normally refer to this as the reference data. The user of the algorithm selects a value for K. It must be a positive integer, so 1, 2, 3, etc. Uh, for the data record that you want to be classified, it computes the distance between the data record and all of the reference data records. Then it looks at the K closest data records in the reference data. So if you set K to 5, it'll look at the 5 closest records in the reference data. Whatever is the majority classification in the group of these K records is the predicted class of the algorithm. So let's look at an example. Let's say I want to create a program that will predict if someone is a Taylor Swift fan, Rolling Stone fan, or neither. So I have three groups. And we have to assume that you can't be a Taylor Swift fan and a Rolling Stone fan because that would be you're in two groups then. So there's three different groups, Taylor Swift, Rolling Stones, and neither. Um, we think that we can predict the classification of a fan based upon their age and gender. So maybe we're going to build a website and when people register we know their age and gender and we want to recommend music for them to listen to or purchase. So first we need some data with the correct classification. So let's assume we go out and we survey some people and this is the data we get. We have uh, 10 people surveyed. We know their age, their gender, and what type of fan they are, what classification or group of fan they are. <clears throat> now that I have the data with the correct classification, KNN can make predictions. Uh, let's say I want KNN predict the class of a fan named Michelle. And we know Michelle is a female and her age is five. So which of the three classifications or groups does she belong in? We also assume that we set K to three in this example. So some of our data is numeric, like age, but other is discrete, like gender. It's M and F. So we need to first convert all of our discrete data to numeric. So that's to say that if you're a male, your gender is zero. If you're a female, your gender is one. Then we have all numbers. To compute the distance, we use this equation. It's the square root of x1 minus y1 squared plus y1 minus y2 squared. So we have two pieces of data, age and gender. We're going to take the difference of those and square it and add them together. And if there was four pieces of data or five pieces of data about each fan, we would just continue to add those um, continually. Let's look at an example of computing the distance. So we know Michelle is a female, which has a gender of one and an age of five. Uh, the first person in the reference data is Bill. Um, Bill is a male, so the gender is zero and the age is 32. So to compute the distance between Michelle and Bill, it is the square root of Mich Michelle's age minus Bill's age squared plus Michelle's gender minus Bill's gender squared. And if we had more data, like eye color and weight, it would be plus Michelle's eye color minus Bill's eye color squared plus Michelle's weight minus Bill's weight squared. As many pieces of data as we have. Uh, in this case, there's just two, age and gender, and it's the square root of that. So um, we substitute in the values, and we get the square root of 5 minus 32 squared plus 1 minus 0 squared, which eventually turns out to the square root of 729 plus 1, or 27.02. So the distance between the data record Michelle and Bill has a distance of 27.02. And now we go through and we compute the distance between Michelle and everyone in the reference data. And we get this. And you notice that some people in the, in the reference data, like Tiffany, are very close to Michelle. 
with a distance of 9. Some are very far away, like Michael has a distance of 50. Now we decided that k is going to be set to 3, so we look at the three closest records to Michelle, which is Tiffany, Robert, and John. Tiffany has a distance of 9, Robert has a distance of 10, and John has a distance of 10.05. If we go back and look at the data again, you can easily look through and see those are the three closest reference records to Michelle. So these are the three nearest neighbors to Michelle. Now we look at the classification of these three nearest neighbors. Tiffany is a Taylor Swift fan, Robert is a Taylor Swift fan, and John is a Rolling Stones fan. Since the class of Taylor Swift is the most common among these nearest neighbors, then the KNN algorithm would predict that Michelle is or will be a Taylor Swift fan. So we would potentially show her ads to purchase Taylor Swift music or listen to Taylor Swift music. Uh, so that's how the K-nearest neighbor algorithm works to classify data based upon reference data that already knows what group or class the data belongs to.